Greetings, Mikael here. It is Christmas time and I'm hanging out here in the mall waiting for my daughter. I thought it was a good time to um, record this video and give you just a few hints or tools that you can use in this time up until Christmas. So today I want to talk about the loop. The loop is the one where our mind ends up looping around and it goes around these circles in our head and we are pondering over and worrying about things and getting upset and frustrated and all those things. Now that happens all year round for all of us. However, unfortunately, around Christmas time, it has a tendency to get worse. And the reason for that is that whenever there's more tension, um, it, it becomes easier, unfortunately, for us to get into these loops, um, any kinds of loops in our minds. And this is a time where we really need to be able to step out of those. So why does it get worse at Christmas for most people? There are two key reasons. One is the pressure uh, often at work, where with deadlines and the holidays are coming up, and uh, often there's an increased pressure at work, which creates some tension and longer work hours, get more tired and all of that. And also at home, uh, often there's more tension because there's lots of things that needs to get organized and fall into place. And unfortunately, one of the tensions are the financial pressure that a lot of families are feeling around this time of, uh, of, of Christmas. And it's kind of sad because Christmas for me really is about, it's a time of giving, it's a time of connecting, it's a time of celebrating and celebrating life, which is the opposite of what a lot of people are experiencing. Um, and we may experience that for one or two days over Christmas, but if we are spending uh, a month up until Christmas panicking or worrying or stressing about this, then I really want to question whether it's worth, whether it's worth the effort. And personally, I don't think it is. So let's see if we can take this time up until Christmas and make that a really positive, uh, constructive and joyful time as well. So that when we come to Christmas, we can be more relaxed and experience even uh, a deeper sense of what Christmas is about when we get there. <clears throat> so I want to give you sort of three pointers today around these loops and how to manage those. For two of them are relating specifically to you and to yourself. <clears throat> and the first place to focus is doing as much as you can to avoid getting into these mental loops and one of the best ways of doing that and easiest ways of doing that is by just imagining that it's kind of a video and you're pushing the pause button several times a day and it doesn't need to take more than 10-15 seconds at a time but you are going to get that time back many fold so it's just a matter of just pausing and there are so many times during the day where you can do that. <clears throat> you can do it when you're going to the toilet. You can do it uh, as you're getting in and out of your car, um, as you're sitting down to eat, uh, having morning, afternoon tea, like so, so many times in the day. Can you just push that, support, that pause button and just take a moment to just take one conscious breath and just being aware of your body and the environment you're in. So here, I can just push, pause, take that breath, and just notice all these sounds and movements and colors, and then be back, present for the next moment, doing whatever I need to do next. And what it does, it just sort of stops the mind for a moment in its track of looping, going from one thought to the next thought. And it creates just a moment of freshness that allows for the next moment <clears throat> to be a more present moment. Which means that we are going to be doing less mistakes in the next moment. We're going to be more focused, more accurate. So the time we just invested, the 10, 15, 20 seconds, will come back 
within the next minute or two. So the more times you can remember to do that and the more stressed you may be, the more difficult it is to do that. So you need to be on the ball with that and maybe creating some reminders for yourself to do this <clears throat> at least a dozen times a day, but ideally more times. Then when you do get in the loop, because you will, and so will I, it's about catching it as quickly as possible and recognizing that, ooh, I'm just winding myself up here, whether you're doing completely on your own, <clears throat> on, front of, or, uh, on front of somebody else or with somebody else. So as soon as you recognize it, you do the same thing. You just pause for a moment and you just take that breath <clears throat> and allow that loop just to stop for a moment and then get back to what it is that you're doing. Now one other thing to that, <clears throat> let's say you do get in the loop and you end up getting upset with somebody else and you end up saying or doing something that you know you shouldn't be doing. Now we all do that. The trick then is to recognize that as soon as possible. And then in the spirit of Christmas, go back to that person as quickly as possible and say, I'm sorry. Just an apology and, no, sorry, I shouldn't have said that or um, I apologize for my tone or voice or whatever. And it's amazing what an apology can do. So in the spirit of Christmas, do that. Do it all year round, but particularly at this time. Because other people are also, uh, stre many other people are also stressing out. And it's a gift, a Christmas gift to other people. And it just moves you and the other person along so much quicker than holding on to these loops and justifying that I should be upset and all that kind of stuff. The third one is about others. So again, in the spirit of Christmas, when you see somebody else who is stressing out, worrying, panicking or whatever it is, at this time up to Christmas, give them the gift of helping them out of their loop. And it can be done very, very simply. It might be if it's somebody you know well, you know, give them a hug. Or others, just give them a smile. Or a hand on the shoulder. Or a kind word. And for others, it might be just sitting down and having a chat and helping them with what it is that they are going through. Either way, it's about breaking their loop in their mind so their mind has a little bit of a rest to uh, refresh and then come back and continue the day in a better place. So it doesn't take much and you can do it to strangers that you can see are freaking out in the traffic and they're stressed because oh wow 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 just give them a smile a thumbs up or whatever it takes to help them shift out of that. You'll be amazed at how little it actually takes and how effective uh, it can be. So they are the sort of three things you can focus on for the next few weeks in the preparation up to this wonderful time and celebration time of Christmas. So I'm wishing you a happy Christmas preparation time at home and work and wherever else you go and I might be back with another video before Christmas. Let's see how it goes. Happy Christmas preparations.